With many people under some version of a stay-at-home order, you've probably found yourself spending an inordinate amount of time in front of your computer. If you're like me, you may found yourself burning through your watch list. Whether you want to lean into the post-apocalyptic vibes or you're simply looking for an escape, here are some of the top 10 anime you should definitely watch if you haven't already. <laughs> At number 10, we have Code Geass, the Duch of the Rebellion. The Duch Lamperidge, a Britannian student, unfortunately finds himself caught in a crossfire between the Britannian and the Area 11 rebel armed forces. He's able to escape, however, thanks to the timely appearance of a mysterious girl named Cece, who bestows upon him Geas, the power of kings. Realizing the vast potential of his newfound power of absolute obedience, the douche embarks upon a perilous journey as the masked villager known as Zero, leading a merciless onslaught against Britannia in order to get revenge once and for all. Oh my God! <laughs> At number 9, we have Haikyuu. Inspired after watching a volleyball ace nicknamed Little Giant in action, small statured Shoyu Hinata revives the volleyball club at his middle school. The newly formed team even makes it to the tournament. However, their first match turns out to be their last, when they are brutally squashed by the king of the court. Tobayo Kajiyama, Hanada vows to surpass Kajiyama, and so after graduating from middle school, he joins Karasuno's high school volleyball team, only to find out his sworn rival, Kajiyama, is now his teammate. At number 8, we have Clannad, After Story. Clannad, After Story, the sequel to the critically acclaimed Slice of Life series Clannad, begins after Tomoya Akazaki and Nagisa Furukawa graduate from high school. Together, they experience the emotional roller coaster of growing up. Unable to decide on a course for his future, Tomoya learns the value of a strong work ethic and discovers the strength of Nagisa's support. Through the couple's dedication and unity of purpose, they push forward to confront their personal problems, deepening their old relationships, and create new bonds. At number 7, we have March Comes In Like a Lion. Having reached professional status at middle school, Rei Kiriyama is one of the few elite in the world of shoji. Due to this, he faces an enormous amount of pressure, both from the shoji community and his adoptive family. Seeking independence from his tense home life, he moves into an apartment in Tokyo. As a 17-year-old living on his own, Ray tends to take poor care of himself, and his reclusive personality ostracizes him from his peers in school and at the Shoji Hall. At number 6, we have Attack on Titan. Centuries ago, mankind was slaughtered to near extinction by monstrous humanoid creatures called Titans, forcing humans to hide in fear behind enormous concentric walls. What makes these giants truly terrifying is that their taste for human flesh is not born out of hunger, but appears to be out of pleasure. To ensure their survival, the remnants of humanity began living within defensive barriers, resulting in 100 years without a single Titan encounter. However, that fragile calm is soon shattered when a colossal titan manages to breach the supposedly impregnable outer wall, reigniting the fight for survival against the man-eating abominations. Jake. 
ラインハルトお願いねはいラインハルトお願いねはいラインハルトお願いねはい The 150 year old stalemate between the two interstellar superpowers, the Galactic Empire and the Free Planet Alliance, comes to an end when a new generation of leaders arises. The idealistic military genius, Reinhard von Lohengram, the FPA's reserved historian, Yang Wen Li. While Reinhard climbs the ranks of the Empire with the aid of his childhood friend, Siegfried Kirkies, he must fight not only for the war, But also the remnants of the crumbling Golden Bomb dynasty in order to free his sister from the Kaiser and unify humanity under one genuine ruler. At number four, we have Hunter x Hunter 2011. Hunter x Hunter is set in a world where hunters exist to perform all manner of dangerous tasks, like capturing criminals and bravely searching for lost treasures in uncharted territories. Twelve year old Gon Freaks is determined to become the best hunter possible in hopes of finding his father, who was a hunter himself and had long ago abandoned his young son. However, Gon soon realizes the path to achieving his goals is far more challenging than he could ever imagine. That number three, we have Gin Tama. The Amanto, aliens from outer space, have invaded Earth and taken over feudal Japan. As a result, A prohibition on swords has been established, and the samurai of Japan are treated with disregard as a consequence. However, one man, Jintoki Sakata, still possesses the heart of the samurai, although from his love of sweets and work as a Yorozuya, one might not expect it. Accompanying him in his jack of all trades line of work are Shinpachi Shimura, a boy with glasses and a strong heart, Kagura with her umbrella and seemingly bottomless stomach, as well as Sandahura, their oversized pet dog. At number two, we have Stein's Gate. The self proclaimed mad scientist Rintaru Okabe rents out a room in a rickety old building in Akahabara. Where he indulges himself in his hobby of inventing prospective future gadgets with his fellow lab members, Mayura Shini, his airheaded childhood friend, and Hashida Itaru, a perverted hacker nicknamed Daru. The three pass the time by tinkering with their most promising contraptions yet a machine dubbed the Phone Microwave, which performs the strange function of morphing bananas into piles of green gel. <laughs> And at number one, we have Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Alchemy is bound by this law of equivalent exchange, something the young brothers Edward and Alphonse Elric only realized after attempting human transmutation, the one forbidden act of alchemy. They pay a terrible price for their transgression. Edward loses his leg, Alphonse his physical body. It is only by the desperate sacrifice by Edward's right arm that they are able to affix Alphonse's soul to a suit of armor. Devastated and alone, it is the hope that they would both eventually return to their original bodies that gives Edward the inspiration to obtain metal limbs called auto mail and become a state alchemist, the full metal alchemist. That's it for the list. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, check out my other videos. Bye.